Imagine a world where a single injection could rewrite your DNA, wipe out a deadly disease, and give you a fresh start. That's not some distant sci-fi fantasy, it's happening right now, and a company called Intellia Therapeutics is smack in the middle of it. But here's the thing. Despite pulling off some mind-blowing breakthroughs in gene editing, Intellia's standing on shaky ground. Will they rise to become a biotech legend or fade away under pressure? Let's dive into a story that's got hope, heartbreak, and a whole lot of drama. Trust me, you'll want to hear how this one plays out. What if I told you Intellia's fate might decide whether we unlock the full power of CRISPR, a tool some call humanity's biggest leap since we tamed fire? This isn't just about one company, it's about the future of medicine itself. So let's unravel this tale, twist by twist, until we see where it lands. First off, meet Intellia Therapeutics. Born in 2014, this biotech was founded by some of the sharpest minds around, including Jennifer Doudna, a Nobel Prize winner who helped invent CRISPR. If CRISPR's new to you, picture it as tiny molecular scissors that can snip out bad genes and swap in good ones. It's wild stuff, the kind that makes you wonder why we're still debating trivial things when we're rewriting life itself. Intellia's big dream is to use CRISPR to create one-shot cures for brutal diseases like hereditary angioedema, where swelling can choke you out of nowhere, or ATR amyloidosis, where rogue proteins gum up your organs until they quit. They're not here for quick fixes, they're aiming to rewrite the rulebook. But here's a question. If they're so cutting edge, why are folks on X muttering about disappointment, even tossing around words like bankrupt? What's tripping them up? Picture this. It's March 26, 2025, and Intellia's stock is sitting at about $9 a share, a far cry from its $70 peak a few years back. They've got $862 million in cash, a crew of brilliant scientists, and three drugs in late-stage trials. Sounds solid, right? But biotech's a tough game, and Intellia's got some serious obstacles to dodge. Let's peel back the layers and see what's really going on. Let's start with what makes Intellia stand out. Their pipeline. They've got two heavy hitters, NTLA-2002 and Nexigurin Zaclumarin, or NexZ for short, plus a third that's hit a rough patch. NTLA-2002 is their swing at hereditary angioedema, or hay -E. Imagine living where your throat could swell shut any second, no heads up, no cure. Now picture a single CRISPR dose that stops it cold. Early trials are unreal. Phase 1-2 showed patients dropping attacks to zero, some even tossing their meds for good. Think about that, a life without that constant dread, all thanks to gene editing. Then there's next Z, tackling ATR amyloidosis, a slow nightmare for your heart and nerves. In Phase 1, NexZ cut toxic protein levels by over 90% with one shot, and it's holding strong years later. That's not a patch job, that's a revolution. Here's something wild. The FDA's so impressed, they've slapped a special RMAT label on all three of Intellia's drugs, fast-tracking them toward approval. By 2027, NTLA 2002 could hit the US market, with NexZ possibly landing by 2028. We're talking billions in revenue and thousands of lives changed. But here's the rub lab wins don't always mean real world victories. Intellia's burning cash, about $500 million a year, and with $862 million left, that's just a couple years of breathing room. Can they sprint to the finish before the tank's empty? Let's keep digging. Let's step back and scan the battlefield. Biotech's a brutal arena, and Intellia's not the only player swinging crisper bats. Take Alnilam Pharmaceuticals already cashing in over a billion a year with drugs like Onpatro for ATTR amyloidosis. They've got the lead, the money, and the track record. Intellia, they're still in the looks amazing but untested zone, so can a newcomer with a slicker tool really take down the champs, or are they outmatched? Then there's the money mess. Intellia's dumped years and dollars into research, and it's paid off with those dazzling trial results. But here's the cold truth. Drug development's a money pit, and they're not earning yet. In 2024, they pulled in $43 million, mostly from partnerships, while losses hit $522 million. That's like running a lemonade stand that costs a fortune but barely sells. Get this. On January 9, 2025, Intellia slashed 27% of its workforce and ditched a third drug, NTLA 3001, to stretch their cash. The stock took a 15% dive that day, 
and X erupted with grim takes like, they're done in a few years. Imagine being a scientist there, pouring your heart into curing diseases, only to see your project axed and your team cut. That stings. But was it a fatal blow or a clever move? They're all in on NTLA 2002 and NextZ now, betting the farm on these two. If they flop, it's lights out. If they nail it, oh, we're getting there. Let's switch gears and check the vibe online. X is buzzing about Intellia's future prospects, and it's a mixed bag. Some folks are pumped, pointing to those FDA nods and cheering. Intellia's drugs are unbeatable. Others aren't buying it, with posts calling them a sinking ship and betting on bankruptcy by 2028. Who's got it right? Here's something crazy. Despite the layoffs and pipeline trim, Wall Street's still upbeat. Analysts peg Intellia's stock target at $36.61, a 293% leap from today's $9. That's nuts, right? They see profits if NTLA 2002 launches in 2027, but biotech stocks are a wild ride. One bad trial, one hiccup, and that $9 could vanish. Picture the investors betting big, the patients praying for a cure, all strapped in for this biotech coaster. One X post stuck with me. Intellia's fundamentals don't matter in this market. Harsh, but it's a wake-up call. Perception can outweigh reality. If faith fades, even a stellar company can falter. So, what's the secret source here? It's belief, timing, and a dash of luck. Intellia's got the science, but can they win the crowd? We're building to something huge, so stick around. Okay, let's get real for a minute. Imagine you've got ATTR amyloidosis. Your heart's fading, your hands shake, and every day is a countdown. Then you hear about Intellia Therapeutics, this scrappy biotech with a chance to stop it. That's not just a company, that's your shot at hope. Every trial, every dollar, every setback hits people waiting for a breakthrough. Now think about the scientists who've spent a decade on this. They're not chasing paychecks, they're chasing a better world. When NTLA 3001 got shelved, it wasn't just a project, it was their passion. That hurts. But here's the flip side. Those same brains are now zeroed in on NTLA 2002 and NextZ. This isn't a surrender, it's a charge. Get this. Their phase three trials are enrolling like crazy, over 550 patients expected by late 2025. That's a company fighting tooth and nail. If they pull this off, we're talking the first CRISPR cures hitting shelves. A legacy that could last forever. If they stumble, it's not just Intellia that loses, it's everyone counting on them. That's the kind of weight that gives you goosebumps. So, here we are, right on the edge. What if Intellia's not the underdog we assume, but a powerhouse ready to roar? What if their cash lasts just long enough to cross the line and they redefine biotech? Or what if Al Neelam's too entrenched and Intellia's CRISPR vision gets buried by a market that moves on? Here's a wild thought. What if Intellia's survival comes down to one big move, like a deal with a pharma titan like Novartis or Regeneron, who've already partnered with them? They've got allies, but will it tip the scales? And the big one, what does Intellia's story mean for gene editing's future? If they fall, does CRISPR stumble too, or keep rolling? Let's find out where this lands. All right, here's the million dollar question. Will Intellia Therapeutics make it? My take, they've got a real shot, and it's a strong one. Those phase three trials for NTLA 2002 and NextZ are steaming ahead, with enrollment numbers that scream progress. The FDA's RMAT labels are like a vote of confidence, and that $862 million. It's not endless, but it could carry them to 2027, when NTLA 2002 might start raking it in. Analysts see 19% annual revenue growth, beating the US average. That's not a fantasy, that's a roadmap, but it's not a cakewalk. Competition's fierce and biotech's littered with near misses. A trial flops, funding dries up and they're toast. Here's something neat. They've already trimmed costs by 5 to 10% in 2025 to stretch that cash. Savvy, scrappy, and a little desperate the way I like my fighters. If they succeed, they're not just surviving, they're making history, proving CRISPR can go from lab to lifeline. So, what's next? Stay in the loop with Intellia's updates, track their trials, maybe even dip a toe in if you're the investing type with nerves of steel. This isn't just about a company, it's about the future prospects of medicine, and you're watching it unfold. Will they rise or fall? Time will tell, but I'm rooting for the ones bold enough to edit life's code.
and that's the story so far. From a wild idea that pulled us in, through Intellia Therapeutics roller coaster journey, we've seen the highs, the lows, and the what ifs. We've marveled at the possibilities, felt the stakes, and pondered the odds. Whether you're into biotech, hoping for a cure, or just love a good tale, thanks for coming along. Intellia's future's still up in the air, but one thing's clear it's going to be a ride worth watching. Catch you next time and keep an eye on those gene editing dreamers. See you in the next one.